You came back. Guess that means you want to know more about Odoo. Well, we're going to go over each app in Odoo briefly, just so you know what functionality it represents. And so you know what base you can build upon because Odoo is highly customizable, but it also has some powerful base functionality that we can use to get where we need to with our business. So let's go ahead and dive in. So we're in my demo now. We've got a bunch of apps here because I installed all of them. If you want to be able to create your own demo, go ahead and watch my other video that I'm going to post shortly about how I did this. So the Discuss app is all about us communicating, basically. So it's built into the back end of Odoo, and obviously everything in Odoo works well together. But Discuss is one of those central functionalities that we're going to be using a lot for highlighting different things that we need somebody to look at, um, discussing things, discussing different projects. Um, we can also do channels where it's a continuous discussion between a bunch of people. So we can do that with hashtags. Uh, a lot of useful stuff that we can have here to keep our communication clean and all in the same spot. Calendar allows us to see what's going on in the company and when for different people. So it'll let us know when people are off. So on PTO or when they're working, um, we can see when they have an appointment. So if we're the sales manager, we can see when all of our people are working, what they're doing, who they're talking to. Super useful stuff. And again, all connected in Odoo. Appointments is an extension of the calendar app in a way. So this is kind of like Calendly, if you've used that before, where essentially we can say, okay, I have this block of time. I'm going to break it up into these little smaller blocks of time that somebody can go ahead and reserve. So say we have a sales appointment and we don't want to have a bunch of emails back and forth to say, okay, I'm available this time. Are you available this time? And so on and so forth. We just send them this, we send them a link and say, go ahead and schedule some time to meet with me. And any of the times that are open are open to you and you can select them. So then we have to do, which is basically what you'd expect it to be just a to-do list for us to keep us organized. Knowledge is a place where we can put a lot of different things. So we can put SOPs here, we can do notes from meetings for ourselves or just random notes anyway in the private section. We can share these with customers. There's a lot of different stuff that we can do here, but we're basically building out these articles, either personal ones or ones that we share with other people using a format that's a lot like OneNote. Okay, now we're getting into some of the meat and potatoes. Contacts is one of the central apps to Odoo. So contacts are anyone we interact with. So we're going to say vendors, customers, employees, and they can be a mix of all those things. And within each of these contacts, we can actually create layers. So we can say this person is actually a contact under this, well, under this company. And that way we can say, okay, we have delivery addresses, we have contacts. It allows us to interact with those companies in a way that makes sense for us so that we can keep it organized. The CRM, the Customer Relationship Manager. So this is all about our leads and our opportunities. So it's mostly for our sales team to stay organized and say, potentially we could sell to this person or we could resell to this person. Hey, Jimmy, could you follow up with this person? Uh, it's a lot like Salesforce, maybe not quite as powerful, but it gets the job done. I can't think of many companies that don't sell a good or a service to somebody. It's how we make our money. So with the sales module, it's all about making that easy for us. Revolves around our contacts and their addresses, and then products that we order in a certain quantity. There's some different stuff we can do that with this where it ties into e-commerce and makes it easy for us. Uh, we can also make it so that there are optional products for the customer or make it so that they can review and order afterward. Lots of stuff we can do with the sales model. Dashboards, KPIs for big guys, right? So this is allowing us to look at information from a very high level while also being able to zoom in on what's important to us. So this allows management to make key decisions. It also allows people in the trenches to look at things and say, okay, am I focusing on what I need to today to get my job done and to improve and become the best I can be? Subscriptions. So we may have sales that are recurring. So people may come to us and say, I want a monthly membership to your gym or I want a monthly membership to something else. This is where we would manage those. Rentals. So we may make money by renting things out to people. We could manage that here and it makes it so that everything's again stored in one location. Point of sale. So we may do a lot of business in different ways, but 
If we have a brick and mortar location, we need to be able to have terminals that we can sell from. A point of sale is a terminal or a cash register where we can make those sales and we can set that up here. We may actually have a restaurant and there's some good stuff in Odoo for restaurants, including this kitchen display that helps us keep the kitchen organized. Oh boy, accounting. There's so much in Odoo that comes back here. In fact, it seems to be tied into almost everything. And the beauty of that is that then we don't have to get different documents from people and put them into QuickBooks or some other financial software. It just flows in and we review it and make sure that it's good and take care of the rest of the little things that we need to do. But it makes our lives so much more efficient and we're able to track things so much better. Documents. So we have a lot of different documents that can travel around in our company. We can organize those here so that people can find them and access them when they need to. Projects. So... In our company, we're gonna have different things that need to be taken care of. We wanna organize those. We wanna organize people around those. Sometimes we have projects that will be kicked off by a sales order that are related to a customer. There's a lot of different things that we can do here. We have projects and then tasks so that we can organize ourselves better. Timesheets is more about where people are spending their time when they're working for us, not necessarily saying they were working for us or not, and this is when we need to pay them. This allows us to see how efficient we are and where we're spending our time. Field Service is a great app if you have a company where you send people out to do things for people. So say you have a plumbing company or an electrical company. Field Service allows you to organize your people to have job sheets, to have inventory where you can say, hey, you know, you used this on this job, so we need to charge the customer for it. There's a lot that you can use here to organize your team. Planning is about shift planning. So making sure that people are on the clock when they need to be, that we have people doing the stuff that we need them to be doing when we need them to be doing it. The nice thing with this, there's a lot of different stuff that we can use, but one of the best features is that if somebody's not going to be there, we can go ahead and send out a request to everybody that could work the shift and they can sign up through the email. So help desk is all about keeping our company moving along. So if we have customers that need help, they can go onto our website and submit a form that'll create a ticket here or internally people can come in and create tickets there. We can also set up things to create tickets from other actions, but it's all about making sure that people are supported when they need support. Website is all about our company's website, customizing it, making it look nice. Um, there's actually a really nice editor here. We have themes that we can use, much like WordPress. It's really helpful and useful so that we can make sure that what we're conveying to the world through our website is what we want to convey. E-learning is a cool one. So essentially we can create Udemy type courses that we can give to customers or people that work for us. And then we can give them certifications based on that. So say a job needs certain trainings, we can have them run through those trainings and make sure that they're up to speed. We have a lot of marketing apps here that I'm not necessarily going to get into individually because the concept is the same for them. We have a lot of information in Odoo that we want to use to get in touch with people that could buy our goods and services. And we have different avenues that we could use to get in touch with them. Events is basically what you would expect it to be. So we can organize events at our company and then we can sell spots if we want to, or we can just say it's first come first serve, but we can set limited seats for these events as well so that we can organize it appropriately and we don't get in trouble with the fire marshal. Surveys, it's always good to know what people think about us, right? may hurt a little bit, but at least then we can act on it. So this is all about collecting information both internally and externally. We can send out surveys to a group of people and get the information back here so that we can use it. Purchasing is probably pretty important if we have physical goods. And certainly if we have services too, we may actually work through subcontractors. So this is all about creating POs or RFQs and then turning them into POs once they're approved and then eventually goes into bills. But we gotta make sure that we're able to buy things from other people so that we can use that in our business. If we're dealing with physical goods, we want to be able to know how much we have and where it is. We also want to be able to organize the people that interact with it so that they know what they're supposed to be doing and we can use them more efficiently. The inventory app is all about this. Warehouses, locations, different routes that things travel through to get to where they need to go to. If we make some of the stuff we sell, manufacturing is very important to us. So we can organize things and create bill of materials to say, hey, make this this way. We can also say you need to perform these different operations on it. And we can actually break that down into small enough pieces where we can have a video that explains how to do something. We can have a PDF and we can have quality controls as well to make sure the stuff that we put out is up to par. 
Shop floor gives us a to-do list and an interaction platform for the people on the manufacturing floor. This tells them what they need to build, helps them to work through it. Quality is all about making sure we don't send junk to our customers. It's also important that we don't receive junk into our company because if we have junk components, we're likely to have junk finished goods. So we can have quality control points at different points for us to be able to say, okay, measure this, take a picture of that, check this and give me a yes or no answer. It's really useful. The barcode app allows us to make our inventory processes more efficient using barcodes. So we can have a barcode on a location, a barcode on a product, and a barcode on a traveler saying, I need you to move this amount of product from this place to the other place. We can also do inventory adjustments really seamlessly this way so we can do cycle counts and other things without having to go back and forth with Excel sheets printed out. We need to make sure that everything is working smoothly in our company. So maintenance allows us to do that by scheduling maintenance or requesting maintenance as needed. Sometimes we need to get things fixed. That's what repairs is all about, sending things out, getting things to come back in. We schedule those here. Our products change as we get better and better. We may have a version one of a product and it's not gonna be the same as version three. So we wanna be able to keep track of changes to our bill of materials when we're manufacturing things. And that's what PLM or product lifecycle management allows us to do. Odoo allows for a multi-company setup. And with that, we need to make sure that our financial statements make sense at the top level. That's what consolidation is about. That's about saying, okay, this revenue comes up, these costs come up, and then that way at the top level, our company's financial statements make sense. Sometimes we need people to sign something. Maybe we want them to sign a sales order. Maybe we want them to sign a document saying they release us from liability. Well, we could use DocuSign or we can use the app that's built into Odoo so that we have everything in the same place. We can upload PDFs here, set signature fields, and then send it out to people. Employees is all about the people that work for us and the structure within that, so managers and so forth, so that we can have approvals for PTO and other things that need a manager to sign off on them. The people that work for us are here so that they can get paid and we can talk all we want about work culture, but if people don't get paid, they're going to leave us pretty quickly. So this app is all about making sure that everybody gets paid and that we can run analysis on that. It's part of most companies to review the people that work for you and some companies for the people that work for you to review you. This allows us to do that within a framework so we can say, okay, we're going to meet every quarter and no more often than every two months in case there's somebody that's always requesting meetings. We can actually limit that here if we need to. How do we know how much to pay people? That's based on attendances here if they're hourly. So people can clock in with a badge or a pin and then they can clock out with that. Recruiting people to work for us is a big part of any company. We want the right cultural fit. We want so many things to work well. And so building a process around recruiting is super important keeping the notes that we have on them and making sure that the information they provide us is stored in a place where we can use it and can be transferred easily into our system. Sometimes the best people to hire are ones that are referred to us by our own employees. Odoo recognizes this and has built an app to make that easier and make it so that we can reward our employees for their loyalty and for their help in that regard. Our company may have a fleet of vehicles to enable us to do what we need to do. We can manage those here in Odoo. To keep our employees fresh and at their best, we offer time off and we can organize that here. It allows us to also see when people are off just in case we're booking people that cover the same position at the same time, putting us in a lurch. Sometimes one of our employees is out and about and incurs an expense. A classic example of this is a salesperson takes a potential client out to dinner. We need the receipt from that so that we have proof of it and we need to be able to categorize that expense. This app helps us do that. We may provide lunch for our employees occasionally, and this allows us to organize that so people can put in their orders and it's not such a headache to take care of. Have you ever been on a website and a chat box pops up and somebody asks if they can help you? This can be a very powerful tool, and we can actually do this through Odoo as well. In any system, there's going to be duplicates, there's gonna be other problems with data, and we can handle those here with the data cleaning app that gives us some different tools for deduplication and other things. An approval framework is essential if we want to grow our company. As the boss, you don't want to be the person that is always having to say, yes, you can buy that $5 thing. Yes, you can buy that $500 thing. After a point, 
we want to be able to trust our people to say, okay, you can approve this, you can approve that. And the approvals app allows us to create a framework for that. One of the services that Odoo's decided to integrate with so that we can communicate with our customers more easily is WhatsApp. We can set up different communications and different accounts here to do that. IoT is Internet of Things. Now, Odoo has these little boxes that are basically Raspberry Pis that we can put all around our company to gather different information. So we can come up to monitors, to printers, to barcode scanners, to digital calipers. There's really almost no end to what you can do with these things. Link Tracker allows us to see how traffic comes to our website. So we may provide different links to different partners. Um, that way we can pay them for people that come to us, different leads that they generate. This is really powerful for our marketing team. Now, all these apps are beautiful, right? But there's more. Odoo is actually fairly open and has a pretty rich marketplace for additional functionality. They recognize that not all the functionality that we need is going to be represented by things here. So they have a development community that puts together more apps that we can actually buy and install by coming through this app. Settings is our central app for controlling Odoo. So controlling people's access, controlling which users are able to do different things, which users we have. All this stuff is set up inside of settings. Very deep. There's a lot to it. But it's your central place for checking out all that and making sure that it's set up properly. The last app we should talk about isn't really represented right here. It's represented up here. And it's called Studio. Studio is a really powerful little functionality that Odoo has built in. It allows us to create our own apps here or we can go in and modify the functionality of existing apps. We can modify views, the reports that it makes, we can add automations, access controls, you can see all of that right here. And it's in a drag and drop format that after a while you get very comfortable with and can provide yourself some pretty powerful functionality. So that was a lot of high level information. Hopefully you were taking notes of the different apps that you think your company might use. There is far more depth to these apps than I went into. So if you're interested in these, I would encourage you to go to my next video, create a demo, and then go to YouTube and find a video for each of those apps that gives you a little bit more context, a little bit more depth, so that then you can explore this appropriately for your company and then move on to the decision of if you want to implement Odoo and how you want to implement it. Good luck.